This is a review of the Magic Tractor Paint reducer and the hardener for on an automotive spray on a van. Uh, some of the things I've learned started with a trampoline. I made myself a paint booth. And some conduit. And Hung some lights in here. Also had some well pipe left over from another project. Anyway, uh, I started this is sprayed here at the recommended amount of reducer and Uh, hardener. I didn't mess with the hardener ratio, but I did mess the, with the reducer ratio. And what you will see is, sorry, I don't have tripod and stuff. If you don't like it, guess what? Go to the comments section. There's a full refund of everything you paid for this video. So for perspective, I'm getting some orange peel in here, but uh, I thought, well, why don't I increase the reducer and see if it lays flatter on. So I did that, and I don't know. Your call, same fingers for scale. There's still orange peel. But I created another problem with that, with this, my Optima sprayer made in Germany that I have. Uh, as soon as I put the extra reducer in, well, then I started having a lot more drips coming out of the gun. The gun couldn't hold it back. But all in all, um, it lays down all right. Um, for a former cargo van, it looks a whole lot better. And uh, you know, that's an improvement. So this is a Sprinter van. And I'm not done painting here. I ran out of paint. I ran out of mixed paint, rather. Um, and I ran out of energy for the day. So I'll come back and get that last little bit. But what you see in two coats without, I masked off the roof. So the roof isn't painted, but the, everything else is. And that first coat was seven cups of, seven cups of paint with the hardener and the reducer. And it, so the second coat, I did another four cups for the second coat. And I had some problems with the orange peel on the hood for sure. But that was a problem with getting my gun set up correctly. Once my gun was working better, I had way better luck over, luck over here. And I think I could, without any mistakes, do this whole van with less than a gallon. In fact, the touch-up I have left over, I still have a cup of paint in there, or two cups of paint. So I'll get the, the last little bit um, all done for less than a gallon of paint. Uh, one bottle of hardener, one bottle of reducer, um, some acetone for cleanup mineral or mineral spirits for cleanup on the gun and whatnot. Um, I mean, there's more and more money in plastic here than paint, more money in masking than paint, more money in sanding discs than paint. So uh, I'm not disappointed.